What is the problem? I had a nightmare about that madman again. Ah, again? What is it this time? He was chasing me with a machete. He was about to strike me when I woke up. That man has proven to be evil. That's why the ghost struck him with madness. And, and that has not stopped him from practicing his wizardry. I wonder why they have not banished him from this kingdom. Eh? He needs to be banished from this kingdom before he kills us all. I have to do something about this. I can't let this continue. Yes. Uh, you need to meet the Igwe and explain this to him. He must be banished. I think that's what I'm going to do. Good. Uh, go. go. I I'm waiting for you here. Okay, now, when did you say this happened? Last night, Father. And this is not the first time. C can you tell me more about this madman? Obaka was a great herbal doctor. He was so revered and loved by all because of his humility and selflessness. His fame grew so vast that people from all the neighboring kingdoms started visiting him because of his ever potent herbs. But unfortunately, it got into his hand. I was expecting that. I knew that man can never be good. He became so full of himself that he started treating the people with disrespect. This made the people turn against him. And then came this madness. It was so strange and sudden that the people believed it was a punishment from Elulu. And there is also this rumor around the kingdom that he practices wizardry. And I'm asking you, Father, why haven't you banished this evil madman before he inflicts more harm on the people? Son, that is just the rumor lately. We have no proofs yet. Have you had any encounter with him in the time past? Yes, I, I once ordered the guards to beat him up. Why? Why do you have to beat up a madman? Father, he was embarrassing me. And you think beating him up is the best thing to do? Okay, now. How many times have I warned you against your cruelty on my people? You better change before you end up like Obaka. Change! There's a need Why does father always find faults in everything I do? Why? Why? me of being mean and cruel to the people instead of seeing reasons to banish that evil madman Obaka. <laughs> you sound as if you don't know your father anymore. Eh? <laughs> don't worry. Come and sit. I think I know what we will do. <laughs> My prince, sit. I think I know what we will do. Oh. <laughs> My prince. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> you can always count on me. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> hey! Hey!
I told you he must be here. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> and what are you just still waiting for? I will! Never again! I will! Good luck! I will! No! 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 Because you must be on my way down there. Strike him harder! <laughs> and you listen to me, you madman! This will be the least of what I'll do to you the next time you show your ugly face in my dreams again. <laughs> you disgust me. Drop. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> 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 So you went to see that boy again after the king's order? Olama, what has really come over you? Who prefers a commoner to a prince? I think that boy has bewitched you. No, mother, he hasn't done anything to me. Will you shut up your mouth before I shut it for you? The king gave an order before, but will let it rest thinking you've learnt your lessons, not knowing you're still fooling around with that boy. Let me shock you, Olama. The king has ordered that you no longer leave this palace again until you come back to your senses. And that includes your maid. No, mother. Mother, you can't do that to me. My father cannot do that to me. You cannot forbid me from leaving the palace. I am not a prisoner. Mm. Olama, let me tell you. You will remain in this palace until you leave that madness called love. No, mother, no! No, it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna no. May the gods forgive me. If I set my eyes on that useless dog. What have I done to you people? Why am I being treated like a thief in my own kingdom? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I am Prince Ikenna. Mm. The heir to the throne of Umuelulu Kingdom. I can treat anybody, anyhow, in any kingdom without any interference and nothing will happen. Then what do you want from me? Shut up. I'm making the speech here, not the other way around. You are lucky I'm in a good mood today, else you will see the other side of me. But let this be a note of warning to you. I don't ever want to see you around, Princess Olama, or the whole of Umuelu Kingdom again. The next time you do, you may not live to tell the story. I am sorry, but I cannot do that. How dare you talk back at me? Don't make me change my mind. Don't let me warn you a second time. Let me slap him. So that is what happened to your friend, Ichita. You mean Prince Ikena came to your heart? This is serious. So now what are you going to do? You are leaving her, right? Me? Leave Princess Olamma. 
Never. Why? Why would I? Oh, you are expecting me to leave the princess just like that. It will never happen. Your love for the princess is not worth your head. Besides, I know you wouldn't want to throw yourself against Prince Ken now unless you don't value your life anymore. Leave the princess alone. Ichita, nothing will happen to me. Obina, be reasonable. Prince Ikena will not spare your life if you try to go against his other. And that might cause a war between our kingdom and his. Ichita, I don't know what I have with the princess. But I'm loving it. Nobody. Absolutely nobody will stop me from seeing her. Not even her brother, Prince Ikenna. Obina, you better stop this madness before it consumes you. This is not madness. And it's not going to consume me. Chita, relax. I hope you know what you're doing. What in the God's name did Acharugo mean by only your own blood will heal you? How can one be healed by his own blood? Does that mean I will not get help until I die? Oh, what is really wrong with me? Obana, I am sorry to have accused you wrongly. How I wish you were still alive so that I can apologize and make amends. Look at what I have brought upon myself. Will I ever come out of this? I will try. I will try all I can. But if I die, then let it be that it is the price I have to pay for my mistake. Shock you, Olama. The king has ordered that you will no longer leave this palace again until you come back to your senses. And that includes your maid. You will not leave this palace again until you come back to your senses. Father! I have spoken. Oh no. Your Majesty. My heart is troubled. <sighs> For many years now. I have not been at peace because of this strange ailment that strikes me periodically. But now, my worry seems to be doubled by Acharugo's declaration. Oh no. What, what do you make of what Acharugo said? Your Majesty, honestly, I am as confused as you are. The truth is that I have tried severally to figure out the meaning behind Acharugo's declaration. But the more I try, the more confused I become. So why are the gods playing hide and seek with me? Why does it seem that they enjoy seeing me suffer? Why? Your Majesty, I may not blame you to think that way about the gods. But the truth of the matter is that the gods do not enjoy seeing you suffer. So how do you explain their silence? How do you explain that? As for the silence of the gods, I cannot explain myself. But the gods are wise. It's all right. So, oh no, what do you think that I should do now? What do I do? Your Majesty, like I said earlier, I am as confused as you are. 
but I will get some elders add to myself and we will visit ZDB for solution. I want to assure you that this time around we'll get a better report. So never mind. Thank you, no. Thank you very much. You're welcome. My Jaffa, I of the gods. One thing is to raise the hope of a seeker, another thing is to satisfy his curiosity. What do you see? Oh no. The gods are yet to speak. Huh? Again? Is it even? No, huh? no. We have been hearing this from you. We have been hearing this from you. For how long will this linger? Is it even? For how long? Yes. Yes. We sought for an answer, but we got puzzled instead. Now we seek for another answer to unravel the puzzle. Is it Dibia? We need answers and fast too, Biko. Hey. Mm. Is it How can we save our king? Yes. What is the meaning of the revelation from Achurugo of Amocha? The gods to speak to us before it is too late. Oh. Ha. Huh? Oh. Neche. Patience. Patience. Nietzsche. That's the deal. But we've been patient enough. Mm -hmm. eh? Isn't it high time the gods spoke to us? Eh? The ways of the gods can never be understood by mere mortals like you. Mm. Go home and What's rest. Up? And do not blaspheme. For the gods. We speak in due time. Go home, Osoka. Go. Go home, Osoka. Hmm. <laughs> Where are you going in my presence? Uh, nowhere. No, nowhere at all. I... I... I was looking for Adako. I was going to call her. Okay. Should I call her for you? No, don't worry. I'll call her later. As you wish in my presence. Are you princess why haven't I seen you for weeks now I hope nothing has happened to her or has she succumbed to her family's pressure to leave me oh princess I know you are not happy wherever you are now I am sad and worried too your brother has warned me to stay away from you and I know they have done the same to you. But it will not stop me. 
You have been the only woman I could relate to since I lost my mother. And I am not willing to let you go easily. I love you, princess. And I pray you stand by me. I love you so much. Ikirina, so you still have the effrontery to beat up Ubaka despite all my warnings. How dare you? Father, he wouldn't stop pestering me. And I need to take care of that. And that includes going against my orders? You are lucky that you are my son. But that does not mean that I cannot deal with you. Are you getting it all wrong? I only took care of my problems. Ikena! Ikena! Do not push me any further. You are my only son, no doubt about that. But don't make me disown you before the people of Umwelelo Kingdom. Father, has it gotten to that? Even when I have done nothing wrong? Get out of my palace this minute! Get out! Now! Out! Very good. I, I want you to visit Obina for me. My princess, that won't be possible. Bring your voice down. Okay, just do it for me. But you know the queen forbids us from leaving the palace. That has been taken care of, okay? Please. Ha. No, my princess, that can't be possible. Can you bring your voice down? I already told you that I've taken care of that. Everything is under control. Just go. I need you to see him for me, please. Are you sure? Please. Everything is under control. Please, please, no. Look well. On a forgotten edge, you did it. And where I am, I am. On a forgotten edge, you did it. And where I go, I am. On your chin, I'm going to go. Obina, what is wrong? I can no longer concentrate. I am losing it. That's because of Princess Olama, right? Yes. I told you to forget about her. Forget about her. But I can't. I cannot forget about my princess. It is that even you encouraged me to love the princess. Yes, but that's no longer the case. Your life is at stake because of that stupid love. I cannot support it. Leave the princess alone before what you don't know will consume you. Never. Never. I will never leave the love of my life for the fear of the unknown. Only the princess has the right to end our relationship, not her brother, Prince Ikenna. Besides, he wasn't there when it all started. It's okay. Let's leave the discussion until we get home. We can talk about it later. But for now, let's do the thing that brought us here. Get up, let's go. Where, where, where is the princess? Where is she? Is she okay? Is she alright? Where is she? The princess is fine. She didn't come with you? She's not here. 
but she sent me to you. <sighs> Princess Olama asked that you meet her at Ukodala along the path that leads to our stream tomorrow afternoon. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Please tell me. Is everything all right at the palace? Princess, we explain better tomorrow. Please, I have to leave now before Queen notices my disappearance. Thank you. Okay, okay. my regards to her, okay? All right. Now my mind will be relaxed a bit. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, my sunshine. I wonder why the princess rejects all her suitors. Most notably, Prince Odunze from Amucha Kingdom. For a commoner from Ugu Kingdom. My sister, I find that strange too. But I believe the princess knows what she wants. What are you saying? Who rejects a wealthy prince for a mere commoner? What reason could she have? Isioma, wealth and status. It's not all that matters in marriage. I might not be doing what the princess is doing now. But I know she has her reasons and I support her on that. Well, you see why the dog says that people with buttocks don't know how to sit. I just wish I'm in her position to marry the prince. It's your ma. The other day it was Prince Ikena. Today it's Prince Odueze. Why are you confused? I am Biko. Please! Who doesn't like good things? Don't let that good things put you into trouble. Ha! Wait, let me ask you. Have you ever heard that good things has put anyone in trouble before? Hmm? Yes, Mama. This is why we deserve it. Eh? Because that you go only. Come on, Salaga. Yeah, I like good things. Fabrice! Fabrice! Where is the prince? Prince, I have news for you. What news? I saw Obina under a tree along the road that leads to the stream. The way he was looking around, I think he's waiting for someone. Which Obina are you talking about? Ah, you don't know Obina again. Obina from the kingdom. What? I am sure he's standing there waiting for Olama. Yeah, Olama. Are you serious? This boy has stepped on a cobra still. Come with me. Show your face in this kingdom after all my warnings. I'll make you pay for this insubordination. Drag him along. Igwe, you have to realize that Ikena is the prince of this kingdom. I don't see why you like questioning every little thing he does. You call it a little thing? Your son flaunts my orders on a daily basis and you are here calling it a little thing. Your son beats up anybody at will. You call it a little thing. Your son sleeps virtually with all the maidens in this kingdom, yet you call it a little thing. Your son disregards everybody in this kingdom, including elders and even the SMO, and you are here calling it a little thing. But Igwe, why do you like taking sides with commoners over your own son? Your only son, Igwe. Look at what you call it. Taking sides. Now for your information, those people you refer to as commoners are my subjects. It will interest you to know that any attack on them is an attack on me. Oh, what about an attack on your own son? He is the one attacking them, not the other way around. Igwe, 
you see the problem I have with you. You have become so blind over your own son's welfare simply because you want to be the good thing. Now, will you stop that nonsense, woman? How the... Indiji, hmm? what kind of a thing is this? Eh? Hmm. Every day sickness. Today sickness, tomorrow sickness. When will this end? Eh? I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. Honestly, I'm tired. Because of Anna. When will this end? The prince is here. What's going on here? Why is everyone silent? My prince, your father, the Igwe, has fallen sick again. What? And, and, my prince, who is this boy and why is, why is he being dragged on the ground? And what business of yours is that? Eh? Ask him over that tree. And make sure he doesn't escape. So, so sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Tell me the truth, Princess. Is this a plan? May the gods forbid. Why would I do that? I mean, wh why would I do that for the one I love? I can never. Why then did you not show up? I was under the tree and I waited for several hours before your brother arrested me with his guards. I'm so sorry. I was forbidden from leaving the palace. So I was looking for a very good opportunity to sneak out. How then did they know I was there? I, I don't know. I, I was surprised to see you tied up here. I'm sorry, please. I was waiting for you under the tree, but you never showed up. I'm sorry. What does your brother want from me? Why am I here? I don't know. I just can't this thing. Okay, I, I will go and talk to him now. I will make sure you are released immediately. Please, I'm coming. Why are you shouting my name in that manner? What's the problem? You are my problem! What has been done to you to deserve such punishment from you? You flouted my elders and that of father to stay away from you and this kingdom. Oh really? You disobey father every day? He has never punished you. So what right do you have to punish another who disobeys you? What right? Are you comparing me the prince of this kingdom? The prince of Umuelulu? The unbeatable warrior to a mere hunter from Umbu kingdom? Look at you. In all your acclaimed glory and status, you are still nothing compared to him. Nothing! What? You heard me. <coughs> How dare you speak to me in that manner? That idiot will pay with his head for this insult. I shall go on. Please tell us what to do so we can save the life of our king. Speak to us in the language we will understand. I mean, speak to us in a plain language what you mean by only his blood will save him. Oh no. Oh no, Gonabo. I tell you, go on. Where is your king? Our king is at the palace. Hmm. But you don't know where his blood is. <laughs> Blind people. Blind people. Please, I shall go. We are but mere mortals. Talk to us in a plain language, Biko. Uh, please, please.
the blood of the king lies with him in the palace. I tell you go. How? How? Go. Go and ask no further questions. I will be there tomorrow. The fate of your king has been decided by the gods. Go. Huh? Go! We, we shall be expecting you, Asha Hugo. Uh, yes, Asha Hugo. Thank you so much. Till then, let's go. Please, Acharugo, please revive my husband. Do not let him die. Please. The king will live. Only if he drinks from the calabash and only his own blood will make him do that. Uh, uh, Asharugo, in that case, let, let the prince do that. No! It mustn't be Prince Ikena. Uh, uh, who then does, does that? The princess? Uh, the princess. Not the princess. I can do it. No! Him! Oh, yeah. Him! He is the son of the king, huh? Acharugo. What are you talking about? What are you saying? Untie him! It's Untie him! Impossible! He is my prisoner, and he remains tied until I say so. Yes. Shut your mouth, Prince Ikenna. Who are you to make such utterance? Do you want to test up my against the gods? Gods! Untie the boy and bring him here. What? What is going on? I... I... Do so come quick. on, come on, come on. Be fast. Mother, I don't get it. Father? Yes, your father. How? Him? Him. Remember Queen Obana, 
the noble woman you sent away from your palace. Point of correction, Acharugo. I did not send her away. She left on her own will. Yes, she left on her own. <laughs> but you did not stop her. Because you thought she was not pregnant at that time. The standing before you is the son she bore for you. Ugbana was not pregnant when she left the palace. How come she bore me a son? How? Yes, she was not pregnant. Hmm. <laughs> what is really happening? My husband, the king, has gotten another wife, all to no avail. The gods are not even helping matters with their silence. I am disturbed for the inability to conceive. Yes, by seeing the effect it has on the Iwe is giving me a cause for concern. What must I do? Can I really effect a change? I think I have to try. I will go all out for this. Even if it takes my head. I love you so much, my husband. And I will do everything to make you happy. Everything. And she set out to look for solution to their childlessness. Did I say their childlessness? Yes, because she had Lola in mind too. Obana enters the compound of the almighty Okaka, the great Dibia of Isienu, who is believed to have been reincarnated from Ogu, the paramount gods of Isienu. No woman has ever dared to enter inside his compound because of the aura and clouds that gathers around Okaka. Most him because the path to his shrine was never an easy one. His demands were said to be as treacherous, but this brave woman from Umuelulu gave him a real visit against all us. Finally, she entered inside the dreaded shrine of Ogu. How does she what could she be thinking right now? You dare enter the shrine of Ogu. I am sorry, the Great One. I, I, I am in fear. Think, have the courage to sit before Ogu, yet engulfed with great fear. Go, never return. Ogu does not speak to fair mortals. I am sorry, the Great One. I won't be scared anymore. I am calm now. Please. My advance are always outrageous. Even to you before coming. I heard the Great One. But I need answers. Does that mean you are willing to do anything? Yes. I am willing to do anything. As long as I and my co-wife the guest a son for my dear husband, the king, I am willing to do anything. There's no solution to your problem. That was why the because of your land, we are silent because 
they cannot say your problem without purifying solution. I don't understand the great one. Women are not familiar with the tales of the spirit. How dare you interrupt me with a question while I'm still speaking? Go! Leave her at once. She left. Though more confused than ever, but didn't let her fear weigh her down. She became more determined to look for solution. Obama returned after two days, but this time there was no arms of fear around her. She was brave and determined. Okaka told her that let Igwe Ebubedike, your father, sacrifice an innocent child for protection, and his mother, Dibugu, cursed him with Ingeme, the great gods of Ugwani. But the cry of a child will never be heard in his lineage, which happened after you were born. He told her that the curse could not be broken because Elulu and Ngene were in conflict over what the late Igwe did. Okaka's revelation unsettled her that she was unrelenting. She volunteered to do whatever it takes, including giving her own life to appeal Ngene. She was asked to bring the woman's only surviving daughter, Urewan, and she set out without delay. The gods may be silent, they may have spoken through their actions and deeds. The dust will connect. The dust will be open. She walked for hours without food nor water. As a penance for a sin she never committed. Such was her heart. Their future, the gods of us. The gods of us. May be silent, but they are reading every single meaning. The maiden told Ubana that Ure Mwany was married to a man from Abaje and it now dawned on Ubana that her journey has just begun. Abaje is five kingdoms away but she made up her mind and was ready for the tax. Ubana left the compound and set out for Abaje immediately. <laughs> Ubana later found Urewani after two days of searching and sat with her for a chat. 
Obana told Urewani of her mission that as well reminded Urewani of her brother's ill death many years ago and she wept bitterly but agreed to help Iwana in any way she can and Obana's joy knew no bounds. Urewani stood in place of her mother, Dibugu, as Okaka performed some rituals to appease Dibugu's spirit. With the release of a life bed by Okaka, Ubana became free of the Bugu's curse. Ubana was pregnant before she left the palace. Though she found out a day after, Obina here is your son. Wait, please let me understand this. Are you saying Princess Ola Maya is my sister? No. She is not your sister. Neither is Prince Ikenda. Ah. Acharuko. What nonsense are you talking about? As I was saying, Obana was free from Dibuku's curse. But that does not include love. Who was so determined to have a child for the Igwe at all costs? Hacharugo, what rubbish are you talking about? What exactly do you mean by that? When Ubana noticed she was pregnant, she went to Ogun and made a vow that unless you unite with your son Obina, you will die of the curse she placed on you. This she did! Because she knew that Loma's pregnancy was not yours. Not mine? Yes. Lolo, what do you have to say to that? Speak! Speak! Ikwe, please forgive me. Hey. 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 I am sorry. Hi. Huh? I was only trying to make you happy. Hey. Please. No, no. Hey. For how long will I remain childless? Is it that the king is important? Or that we are not fertile. The Igwe loved Ubana so much and couldn't have married me had she given him a child. I can't allow her to take him before me because that would make my stay in this palace worthless. I must be pregnant at all costs before Ubana beats me to it. I have never been a loser. No, and I will not start now. That is why I have come. So that you can help me with your ever potent medicine. <laughs> My medicine is potent, yes. But I'm afraid. It might not work for you and your husband, the king. Yes. What do you mean, Ichi Obaka? Um, the problem is with the king, not you or your co-wife. The problem is from the gods. And there's not going to be any solution. How? The thing is, shit. What? 
that is the only solution. I have always known that the Igwe is the one with the problem. But I must give him a child to remain relevant in this palace. But must I sleep with a Chiyobaka to be pregnant? Can he be trusted? How am I sure he will not use it against me later? I want to be pregnant, yes. But I don't want scandals at all in my marriage. But what must I do? Hmm. This is really a tough one. A very tough one indeed. I think I know what to do. Can we go in now? <laughs> Chewbacca. We need to talk. We, we, we can always talk inside. There is something I want us to yes, sort yes. out first. Let's just, let's go. Come. Go on behind you. How do you mean? You know what I mean. You know. I don't understand what you mean, Ichiobaka. I am lost here. I don't understand you. I am lost here. Please, explain. I came immediately because the messenger told me it was urgent. Why have I not seen you for over one month now? You suddenly disappeared after I got you pregnant. I don't understand you. Was I supposed to still hang around you? But that wasn't our agreement. What, what, which agreement? Let me tell you. What we had was not a one of affair. You must be making yourself available to me at least every fortnight. Oh. Oh? Are you threatening me? I'm not threatening. But you know, I hate repeating myself. And I hate anybody that make me repeat myself the most. Do what I just say, or you have yourself to blame for it. Ichi! Ichi Obaka! We shall see. Yes, we shall see. How could that useless Ichiobaka expect me to be sleeping with him against our initial agreement? That imp, what exactly does he want from me? No, I can't take this. I can't let that he go to ruin me or my marriage because of his lust. I want to get Obana out of the palace. And he chew back and want me to go first. No. I think I will have to see a jaw of fear for solution. Yes. Money, you're a kid, you know, my little dog, you know, my 
Good day to you, Ichiubaka. <laughs> Good day, my beautiful Lola. <laughs> I know you will come back. And I'm willing to forgive you. <laughs> um, uh, Ichiubaka, uh, sorry. Are you sure you still want us to do this? Why not? You are beautiful and you are sweet. And... <laughs> I mean, which man in his right senses will not want to come the second time after taking the first time? <laughs> Let's go in. Ichie Obaka is not an ordinary medicine man as you people think. He has acquired some powers that have made him spiritually too strong. You cannot kill him, but you can make him mad. Take this egg, strike it right on his feet, and his senses will depart his body immediately. <laughs> Why all this delay? Let's get, go inside. What? What is the meaning of this? How dare you? I mean, what have you done to me? Let me see how you will sleep with me again. <laughs> you will remain like this until your death. Uh -huh. And you will get what you so desired. Fool. Hmm? <laughs> I take my leave. <laughs> My son. <laughs> Go to your father. <laughs> Trying to tell me that Obaka, the famous madman, is my father. Is that, is that why he's been pestering me in my dreams? Now tell me this is not true. Tell me, tell me everything you have said here is a lie. I'm the supposed princess. Who is a biological father? Oh. Igwe, I could not take in again after I had the kenna. So I faked my pregnancy then. Huh? huh? I planned with my mother to convince you and take me along with her until I deliver. Hey. So that we could be able to cover up my fake pregnancy. <laughs> and arrange for a child. Hey, hey, hey. We stole Olama from Udoye of Amakuma Kingdom. Hey. Immediately his wife put to bed. Abomination. Hello, Melo. Please Abomination. forgive me. Abomination. 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 Please. This woman is evil. Oh. This woman is evil. On your job. Hey, <laughs> no wonder, no wonder Iken has been so arrogant like his true father, instead of being noble like our Igwe, Igwe Iyelioba. <laughs> so I allowed my beautiful queen of many years to go because of this traitor. Anyway, I have myself to blame. Mm. You blame Please forgive me. Please let me beg you. You can forgive me. Fate is in the hands of the gods. Mr. Dibia, over to you. She will dance around the kingdom naked, after which she'll be banished from this kingdom for her crime. Since 
they do not have royal blood. Ikenna and Olamma will lose their status as prince and princess of this kingdom. They will go and search for their paternal origin unless they stay in this kingdom as God and me. The gods have spoken. No! Princess Olamma stays. Father, if I am the prince of this kingdom, then Olamma will be by my side as the princess. Hmm. Her origin will be traced later. Please, Father. I can't live without her. Hmm. Well, Olamma has been my only source of joy in this palace. Hmm. She is still my daughter regardless. Mm. So if all of us could find a reason for her to stay, some she stays. <laughs> what about me, father? I am still the prince. Hmm? The, the only heir to the throne. You will sort that out with the gods. No, never. Yes, yes. <clears throat> you can't do this to me. This is my home. Huh? And no one has a right to dance. No, I don't. Take him out of this palace. You, this can't, you can't do that. Get out! You don't have a right to talk Take him out! So that this I is my house! Out. What, what, hey, hey, you! Father, so listen! My you house! Get out! Get out. Wait, 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 wait. My prince! He can lie! He can lie! Shut up! Shut, shut up! Ghosts must have reasons for all this. Mm. And you! My love, you are a prince. Both in this kingdom and in my heart. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. Oh, you fed him, man, I didn't. 